to be staying for the Q and A for four. Um, of course, we have here the director, Joshua Sanchez. Hi. Give him a round of applause. My name is Curtis John. Obviously, I'm curating the Q and A for this film. Um, brilliant film. Absolutely love it. Um, it's really the, the for me the performances and I mean, the direction is is brilliant as well. Um, I mean, everything about it is, is wonderful, but um, I was really have to, first question is always about the casting, because you had a fantastic cast for the film. Like, what was the, what exactly was your process for, um, like, how did you find, first of all, how did you find Wendell Pierce? How did he come across the script? Was it, like, due to usual means, managers, and those type of things, or? Um, I guess it was kind of a mixture of a lot of things. I mean, uh, he was, um, when I started working on the piece, I mean, that the character of Joe in the film, to me, very much like anchored the, the script. And I felt that he uh, should be cast um, with a kind of like particular caliber of actor, I guess. Um, I, I, you know, I really did want him to be kind of like a known person, a somewhat known person, I guess, because I, I you know, it, it, the character itself to me was so complex and so... Um, it asked a lot of questions to the audience, and I just I, I really wanted to work with somebody that was like ready for this kind of part. Um, so uh, you know, I that kind of limited sort of where I was going with the the process. And when you when I started working with the casting director that I was working with, and um, you know, she she really kind of got what I was really trying to do with the the movie, and um, uh, so. Wendell was really at the top of my list of people that I felt like could do this this movie, and uh, you know I was a fan, particularly of his his, his work on The Wire. Um, you know, really blew me away, and I uh, and also Treme too. I think that there was a sort of range that he gave in that performance that um, was very kind of seductive and sensual, and I, I just saw something in that c combination of his work that was like this this he could really pull it off. So it, it also was just sort of lucky for me because he had actually seen the play um, in its production um, in New York off Broadway, and actually one of his uh, castmates in The Wire, um, Isaiah Whitlock, uh, played the part of Joe on Broadway, and so he had seen that and um, really liked the play, and uh, you know, he's he's a, a trained theater actor, so he you know he follows theater and followed Christopher Shin, and so it was just sort of like a combination of a lot of elements that sort of brought him into the into the fold, and um, I think in the, at the end of the day, I think it was, uh, you know, him really taking a chance on this part, you know, um, I think when you, when you, um, when you do something like this, which is not for a lot of money, or, you know, not for a lot of prestige for, you know, I, I think you really just have to believe in, in the story and believe in the potential of the vision of the story. And, um, you know, all of those things kind of came together for me to be like, this is the guy, you know. You know, you use the word ready, because whenever I, I've seen this film a few times now in your film, and he just seems to get it. Like, it feels like he gets it instantly. And I, I think that's what I mean. I, I feel the way about all the actors, but like you said, he's the one, he's the heavy in the film, you know? Yeah. Um, so, I mean, was it, I don't want to say it's that easy, because directing is not easy. You know, I, I'm sure there's a bunch of directors in this room, and you know, um, whether it's a short or whether it's a feature like yours, it's very difficult, but he just seemed to like really get it. I mean, was it, was it difficult for him to transition from material? Because it is also, some people use the word brave, you know, to describe his part in this. Um, I'm not sure if that's the word you would use, um, but you know, for me, it, it, it's along that line. You know, so I mean, did he? Was it like that instant cliff for him, or? I mean, I think you know, for me personally, I think it was a, a process of kind of discovery. I mean, I had my own idea of who Joe was before I got onto the set of the movie and uh, you know I it took about five years to make this movie so it you know I, I and I never actually saw the play on you know when it when it did any of its run so I I didn't have any really preconceived notions of what 
or who this character was until I read it and kind of fell in love with it. And it just sort of resonated as a very true character for me for a lot of different reasons. But when we got onto the set, I think that, you know, it, it is that sort of somewhat mysterious process of, of feeling like you've cast the part right for, the, for, for, for one thing, you know, and that, that is about like, you know, uh, talking to the actor and, and knowing their body of work and knowing where they're coming from and, and knowing, you know, what their, their process is. And it also has to do with just the, um, the vibe that you have with that person and the vibe that you have in the, in the moment, you know. Um, I will say that I think Wendell really, um, you know, brought something very immediate to the character. And I think that's, what he, that's how he works, you know. It's, 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 it is, and it is a very brave thing. I think it's, you know, he's very in the moment and very, like... Um, uh, in some ways, I think pushing me to to sort of like go further in in the character and to push it further and to make it real, you know, um, you know. So I think it was a combination of a lot of different things of, of of it just being sort of like the right elements in in the in the immediate moment of shooting the the film. Um, I think he brought a lot of uh, ideas that he was coming from with the part that I, even I wasn't thinking of. Um, so uh, you know. It was a. It was a really. It was an educational process for me to work with him, but it was. It was really fun and really um, enlightening. <laughs> so I mean, and, and we'll get to the rest of the cast and budgets and all that, and, and we will have um, a Q and A session. Um, so you know, stay tuned for that. But um, how much did so did Joe's did Joe change a lot? You know, from script to screen. Um. Yeah, I mean, yes and no. I think that part of the the beauty of the, the of the material, I think, for me, was that it was so nuanced and so uh, in depth for me. I mean, I I felt like that this was a person that I that I knew was going to push a lot of buttons with people, but at the same time, I felt like I knew I knew the contra the contradictions of this person. You know, um, not like necessarily on a personal level, but on a level that like I've observed in my life and. Um, you know, uh, as a gay man, kind of like dealing with a lot of the same struggles as 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 he has, and you know, I think he's a character of a lot of contradictions and a lot of um, melancholy and a lot of um, you know disappointment, and um, uh, you know, uh, I think that was there on the page, you know, which is a real testament to to the talent of Christopher Shin. I think that he is is really. Um, one of the best writers of my generation, and um, you know he. This was the, one of the first plays that he wrote when he was a, a teenager, um, or you know, teenager early twenties, um, and he wrote it largely about his experience growing up in Hartford, Connecticut. So um, I think a lot of that is in there for him. I think that these were characters that he observed when he was when he was a young man, and um, the character of Joe, I think, in particular, really stayed true to who he wrote. But you know. I think Wendell did sort of bring a lot of um, his own experience into it, you know, um, as a as an African American man, as uh, you know, a man that has grown up in different kinds of cult, like you know, cultural situations. I think that he was bringing a lot of that stuff into the character that maybe not not even I was seeing, and I think that's actually kind of what makes it really good. I think that's what make, makes all character really good characters good you know it's like when you when you put that actor in that role and they're bringing something that even you're not capable of seeing but when you see it you're like the i mean i guess the the thing that you should you should be aware of as a director is like you you see it and then you're like okay that's like i'm not going to mess with this because it's this is this is what you what you strive to do you know yeah, it's a collaboration collaborative process yeah. yeah um you mentioned 5 years it took for the film to be made, so is that from when you began writing it to, you know, raising money and all of that? Yeah, I mean, it, it was a lot of reasons, I think, you know, I mean, this was my first feature film, so, you know, oftentimes it takes a lot of time for that to happen um, when you're a young director and you're you're trying to get your, your foot in the door. Um, you know, I, I think it was a challenging 
piece for a lot of people to 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 take a risk on. Um, you know, we ended up doing a lot of it ourselves. You know, so I mean, fi financing it with independent financiers, and you know, it was a very independent movie. You know, and that's I think really what it had to be. You know, because uh, we were the people kind of putting our ourselves on the line and. Um, you know, uh, and I think you know we're, we're we're proud of that too. You know that it, we that we took the chance and, and did it. You know and believed in it and um, that it had an audience. And you know I think that it's like that for a lot of people too. You know it's um, it's a uh, kind of a hard <laughs> thing to do, I guess. I mean, so with that, I mean, how's the reception been with the film? I mean, you guys came out. At uh, your premiere was at LA Film Festival, right? Right. And um, so, I mean, it's that's been a while. How's the reception been? Since that it's been great. I mean, um, you know, I think that it even surpassed a lot of what we were expecting it to do. And um, I think the good thing about the the film business right now is that I think that there, it's very um, diverse. You know, and that it's not, you know, like it was even you know five ten years ago where there were like a, a handful of uh, avenues for people to get their work seen I think that there are so many ways to do that now which makes it very exciting um, to be working so I think that our film was a good example of that it was um, you know uh, a, definitely a challenging film for people to um, take a chance on but the people that did I think found that you know it had a that a lot of people related to it in ways that they weren't expecting and I think that's sort of the reaction that we've been getting so, um, like budget-wise, you know, there's a lot of directors in the room, like I said, I mean, you know, we're always interested in that, like, I don't know if you want to share your entire thing, but, uh, I mean, was it how roundabout figure, like, like about how much was it, did it really take to pull us off? Uh, I don't think I'm allowed to say oh, really? totally, but it's, it was less than a million. Okay. <laughs> that, way less than a million. <laughs> All right, we'll stick with that. We'll stick with that. Um... I just want to get back to the performances. Um, you know, a lot of people attracted this film for Wendell Pierce, of course. Um, but I think Aja Naomi King, I think, like quietly, she kind of became the real breakout star, you know, acting wise from the filming. And do you want to share a little bit about her performance? Because she just, I don't know, she seems like this, this, and like, damn, always ready to burst. And like, it seemed like it's, it would be hard to contain her. Um, you know, like a performance on set, can you? Well, I mean, um, you know, of the of the four main characters, she would she really was the the actor that we found most organically in the process. Um, uh, we you know we tried to shoot the film in in Hartford, Connecticut, for a long time um, because because the play was set there, um, and we did a, a lot of casting sessions like in and around Hartford, and um, she uh, came to one of those sessions and. Um, I think she, well, she was a student at Yale uh, Drama School for a while, but she just showed up at like at the random call and ended up being the the person that sort of stuck in our minds. Um, so she was still in school when we kind of when we discovered when we found her, and uh, you know um, she's gone on to do a lot of amazing things. But um, I think that she really she she brought that care that part out in Abigail. You know, I mean, I think that. Um, you know, of the four of them, she definitely was the, the one that was the most in character, I think, the entire time that we were shooting. I mean, she felt very, like, pent up, you know, and you and you see that in, in the movie, you know, and um, uh, for me, honestly, like, the, the casting process, I think, is, is probably the most important part of the directing process because it's, um, it's the time when you're able to spend, like, private time with them without the pressure of the set or without the pressure of you know, um, people sort of breathing down your neck about what you're going to do with it. You know, it's it's the time when you're when you're able to really ask the questions of, of them that matter. You know, and um, you know, I think that uh, that was a lesson that I learned pretty early on in making films. That I think like you got you got really good results with with that practice. And I think that um, you know, with Asia, it, you know, we got to know each other pretty well. And I think that I kind of picked up on on that with her. Did you like? Did you guys like go through a, a lot of rehearsal time and all that? Or Not really. It... Actually, we um, you know we didn't really have that much time to rehearse. It was um, um, I think you know oftentimes with independent films you don't really have a lot of time and money to 
to um, you know keep an actor around. So it's oftentimes like you know really trying to fly from the seat of your pants and and just go for it, you know. And um, but what I did have with her was a lot of time to talk about it, you know. Um, and that I think that really made a difference, you know. It 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 it. It makes a difference with you feeling comfortable with the actor on the set, like you actually know this person and they trust you and you trust them and, um, you know, I think that sometimes it can be like the immediacy and the spontaneity of being on a film set that brings out something special in the performance. I'm glad you used the word trust because it, um, I, I really felt like from your the performances you got me an actor is that, you know, that was an, uh, an important quality that, that they had with you, that they really trusted you to know, deliver with, you know, what you were trying to, what your vision, you know. Um, I mean, I literally with all of them, like, so was, I know you said the, the process was, but Asia was a bit more organic, like, how did you, because she, she had, a, you know, everyone had good chemistry with each other, you know, and obviously I guess I was discovered a little more through the process on set than um, through rehearsal, as you, as you um, imply. Um, so like then how did you how were you able to find like like EJ and Emery were they because I mean like I said everyone just had like extremely good chemistry yeah um, you know it was a much more formal process I mean we 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 went you know we had a casting director that we worked very closely That's with right. and okay. uh, you know um, but I think it you know in that situation I think it becomes you know it, it was very important for me to be able to conduct the casting sessions in a very specific way. For me, it's more about like actually, it's less about the material at that point and more about like getting a sense of whether or not they're capable of doing this, you know? And, and oftentimes I think the pressure of a cast, of a, you know, coming in for a casting and reading stuff off a page, it doesn't really give you a sense of what they're doing, you know, who they are, what they're gonna bring to this, you know? And so for me, it's always been much more than that. You know, it's it's about like actually trying to get to who they are as as people and and what their interest is in the in the part. You know, and um, I think for EJ and Emery, I just got they were the people that really I got a sense that they were bringing something more to it than just you know the surface. You know, they really brought something of themselves into it, and um, you know, they that that's I think what I saw in them. So. I mean, I, I, we know, as, as you said, it's adapted from uh, Christopher Shin's play. Like, how much of a difference is it from the play to the movie? I mean, they're obviously different um, mediums. But, like, how much of a difference was it? Um, there's definitely a difference. I mean, I think that, you know, if anybody's interested in the, in, in, um, the play, it's published and you can, re you can read it, you know, and, and, and see the differences. But... Um, I don't think that anybody that was involved in the movie, Christopher Shin included, I think, was interested in doing like a filmed play. You know, I think that we really wanted it to be a movie. We really wanted it to work cinematically, and um, I think the core of <coughs> of what he wrote uh, is is definitely there. Um, you know, I, I think that. Um, you know, the construction of it maybe changed a little bit to make it more of a kind of cinematic experience. Um, but I think, you know, the core of what he was writing about, like, you know, issues about family and, you know, sexuality, gender, race, I mean, I think those all, all of those things are still there and are things that we really wanted to preserve about the piece. You know, um, that's actually a very good transition because I wanted to speak to you about the photography in your film. It's, 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 the color palette, first of all, is, is it, it has a beautiful richness while like you're dealing with a crazy amount of shadows, and I know that's obviously intentional um, because it's, you know, there's a lot of secrets. Um, right. So, um, I mean, I, I just want to speak to you about the, you were the director of photography, I mean, his name again? No, it's, um, Greg Condi. Greg Condi, yeah, he did, you know, you guys did a wonderful job of working together with that. Um, how much of that was really... I mean, I know it was intentional, but how much of it was really like um, help tell the story that you really couldn't tell? Like, because with the script, I mean, you know, you wanted to change up different things from the play, you know, and you, your movie has a lot of nuance. So, I mean, how important for, was it for you for, the, for those shadows, so you like to really tell your story? 
I mean, it was. Uh, the, I think the first challenge of the movie was that it was it was a movie that took place almost entirely at night, and um, you know, two of the main characters were African American, so it was like you know having to light that in a car, and they also took place in cars, so it was like having to light that with moving cars is is really challenging, probably even for big budget movies, you know. So you know, for for us, I think that it was you know, trying to kind of gauge what we could do in that situation. And I think that, um, again, I just think we found ourselves in a really lucky position because I think that nowadays you can work with really incredible cameras that um, have a lot of latitude and a lot of space to, um, to do something like that, whereas like 10, 20 years ago you probably couldn't uh, for not, I mean, you probably would have needed a lot of money to be able to do that. Um, so we definitely scraped by uh, by the skin of our teeth in that situation, but you know, um, uh, I think what Greg Condy brought to it was a sense of um, the handheld camera. I mean, I think that's really what he he does very well. And um, uh, you know, when I saw his work, it definitely sort of clicked in my mind as a way that this could work. Because another challenge of the movie is that they're very long scenes, and you know, oftentimes they take place in like a single room. Um, so it was a, it was an opportunity to let the actors kind of play out those scenes in their entirety, um, and to do sort of longer takes and to use those master takes as like a a, a way to edit the scene together. So um, you know, it definitely was a very collaborative process, and it changed over the years. Like my my conception of what I saw in the movie and what it could be, um, I would say that what we came out with was a much more intimate film. You know, but that's, I think that's the way it works the best. Absolutely. Um, I think, are we ready to open the floor to questions? Yes, we are. Um, question right here. No, um, first, thank you. Um, this has been a hard film to get to see, so I'm glad that the Spirit Awards, uh, pardon? What would you like to? I'm sorry? You're asking me to stop filming. Why? 